Hi there, my name's Matt and I make videos to help you improve your English. In this video, we shall be looking at some work words. We will be looking at pay slips. Now pay slips or a pay slip is an important document because it tells us if we have been paid correctly and if we have paid the correct amount of tax. So let's begin by looking at a basic example. Okay, I've made an Australian payslip example because in Australia, a payslip is a legal obligation. So what does this mean? It means your company must give you a payslip. Okay, so let's have a look at what is included in our pay slip. Now, the first thing that must be there is the pay period. We can see in this example that the person has been paid from the 1st of June until the 5th of June. So that is a weekly payment. In Australia, you can be paid weekly, fortnightly, that means every two weeks or monthly. Your company on your payslip must include the company name. In my example here, I've called my company Matt's Hats. The company must also include their Australian business number, their ABN, which should be an 11 digit number that means there should be 11 numbers and this allows us we are able to check that the company is working correctly and legally now we must be able to see our name or the name of the employee that is the worker so here we have sam and sam's employment status is full-time now he could be part-time, he could be casual, but if he is being paid per hour, then his pay slip must show the number of hours that he has worked and also the hourly rate. So here we can see his wages for his ordinary hours. That means his normal hours. In some companies, you can be paid extra for doing more hours. This is called overtime or additional hours. However, I want to keep this simple and I want to focus on the key words. So before tax, Sam's gross pay, that means before tax, his gross pay, the large amount, for 40 hours of work at $25 per hour, is $1,000. Now in Australia, if you earn more than $18,200, you need to pay tax. Sam will be earning more than that. And to keep our example very simple, I have taxed him at a rate of 30%. In a video coming shortly, I will show you the different tax rates for people in Australia. At the moment, if he has earned $1,000, he will have been taxed $300. That means in his pocket or in his bank account, Sam will get $700. This is his net pay, his after-tax pay. That's what he gets to take home, as we say. We call this his take home home pay. Now just a, a quick note, the word net can be spelt with double T, that's the older way to spell it, or with one T. They both mean exactly the same thing. Now this is Sam's pay and he can check how much tax he has paid. Additionally, his company must pay him some superannuation or retirement savings. And the rate for that will be 9.5% in Australia. So that means he will have $95 put into his superannuation account. 
So I hope this makes this clear. And if you have any other questions, then you can ask me in the comments section. Coming soon, it is tax time in Australia. So I will be making another video about some important words for doing your tax. Anyway, I hope this helps people who haven't worked in Australia or are doing their tax return for the first time. Thank you and have a great day.